Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Oblivion. Well, last time, I rescued a bag of jumbo potatoes, and today we're heading down the road to Bravel, because now I am apparently a super awesome, amazing mega thief, and as a result of that, I need to go check in with someone better and more exciting than Armand. I am done with him, so okay, straight down the road, but on the way... While this night gear is fine, I suspect I might be able to make something even better just by myself. Because honestly, yeah, the armor, it's not spectacular. Alright, the boots I found are just as good. So if I go in, find the right enchantment inside an oblivion gate, then yeah, might be able to start making my own stuff here. And wouldn't you flippin' know it, there is an Oblivion Gate right here. So, alright, in we go, let's see what we got. Okay, dramatic opening today. Um, there appears to be, like, yes, an angry person right about there. Who I assume is going to be coming at me, and okay. Now this, this I like. This I like a lot. Also, can you walk through the... You can walk through the gate, but I can just... Take you down, buddy. No trouble. Draw more along, sort. Very heavy, but okay. There appears to have been some form of... That's a horse! Okay. I think a horse may have just wandered into oblivion and been eaten or possibly dragged in based on the blood smear. Fascinating. So, if I've understood this right, by the way, yes, even though every bit of hell I've seen so far has looked different, they're not being procedurally generated. There's a bunch of hell maps that are being assigned at random to each gate, but the loot in them is mostly pretty random. So I don't need to worry about missing, like, you know, super awesome elite stuff just by virtue of uh, running to the end uh, to get the stone if that's what I want. Though, uh, apparently, yes, there is really, really good loot dodged about, so uh, I might want to, you know, maybe take the middle route as far as I can. On occasion, bother going to get the good stuff. On occasion, not so much. So by the looks of it today, yes, my choices are I can uh, platform or otherwise take a bit of lava damage to go... Uh, direct to the tower, because it's always going to be the big tower with uh, all the spiky bits. And again, those towers have uh, a linking thing suggesting. Right, don't worry about that. Instead, uh, yes, can't help but notice over here we've got... Oh, blimey, sorry, I forgot about the, the mines. It's fine. Also, they... They do damage over time. Okay, that's fine. We can just uh, heal that off. Not a problem. No. The tunnels... These guys, last time I was in them, basically no opposition, but the loot was really good. Yep, nothing but basic scams, which are, if nothing else, a very good opportunity to top up all my charge. Because I can just, uh, yeah, wait for them to be nice and low. Go over to my lovely, lovely soul trap. Don't mind me, buddy. And once you are nice and soul trapped, finish you off. Capture soul for free. Lovely. They're not even bad souls, to be honest. Not petty. Lesser. That'll do. 300 points. Lovely. No, bad luck this time. Just uh, two small areas. These appear to be completely random. A handful of gold, I suppose, but nothing particularly dramatic. So, uh, okay. That must be where I came in. Suggesting, uh, yes, there we go. So I see the main one, but loop around over in... There are turrets, mind. Okay, maybe don't worry too much about this. How good are you at tracking movement, by the way? Hopefully not spectacular. And Okay, there may possibly be... Nope, no invisible walls. Brilliant. So, okay. Ignore the big tower. Yeah, it's the one with the yellow. Check out these guys. Why do you guys have, like, you know, a big awesome bridge? Hang on, I think I see precisely why. Yeah, this tower is way better defended than plenty of others I've seen. It's up on an elevated platform, which... Yeah, I could probably just Bethesda bug my way up to by jumping. But no, let's do this properly. So I need to go in the tower to get by, like, the gatehouse to get to... Okay, we've got, like, a proper little bit of hell here... 
don't mind me, little scamp buddy. I'm going into the Spindle Shrine. Lovely. Oh, and it's one of those corpse mashes. I do like those. Those are lovely. All right, nothing much in here. Just one basic Dramora, one Magicka Essence thing. So I'm in a good shape. And yes, indeed, we're going like gatehouse to gatehouse to get up to the main tower. Oh, this is lovely. I'm enjoying this hugely. Oh, and at gatehouse number two, top of this tower. Okay. Gate controls. For the first time, I've actually found some gate controls. And as a result of that, a gate's opened. I just don't know what gate, I assume. The gate leading to, uh, you know, uh, the main tower, if I had to put a guess in. So, okay. Outside and... There we flip it. Go. Nice. So, oh. Don't mind me, buddy. You just, yeah, look over there. That's pretty good. You definitely want to look over there. Don't mind. Oh, you just summoned something. No, hang on. That was a scamp. I thought it was, you know, something tougher than a scamp, but it wasn't. Okay. When it's majors, uh, just rush them. Rush them because you can 100% just uh, overwhelm them uh, like this. That gets rid of the summon. Beautiful. And there we go. We have made it to the main tower. Now, the main tower, we definitely should just rush while also tossing zombies at anyone who needs distracting. That worked pretty well last time. All right, lads. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I just want to go up to... Where's it up? It's got to be an up. Here we go up in this direction. The rending hall. Sure, I've seen the rending halls before. Basically, just keep going up. If you see anybody, just toss a zombie at them. It's going to be A-OK. -okay. Those aren't doors, mind. Yes, up. Up is good. If I see the red, yeah, things that contain a whole bunch of uh, loot, go for them. Dreaded Refuge. Okay, which way is... Uh, this way is the only way to go. Don't mind me. Here's a zombie to keep you busy. Yeah, just to go up, up, and up some more. And, oh, hang on, what's that? Oh, that was just you doing some summoning. That's fine. Don't worry. I'm really, really, really bloody fast. Uh, and also possibly on fire right now. It's fine. So, okay. Do we get a teleporter up here? No, we get the... There we go. Right there. Okay, that tower was uh, super, super simple. No trouble. Just uh, straight up to the top while spamming the healing. Up the horrific spine, etc, etc. Don't mind me. Off you go, lads. Uh, top up my health on the way past. That's actually a lasting effect, so that'll just uh, keep me going uh, for the time being. And here we go. That's the thing I mean. Whatever this is. The punished. Defend. Underwhelming, to be honest. Just get to here. Grab a sigil stone. Stay on move, because it's going to take a moment for the place to fall apart. I'm being wailed on. Just please collapse faster. Anytime you're cooking, ready. There we go. Straight back out again, lovely. Okay, don't feel like I even really missed anything there. That one was in terms of uh, loot, a bit on the underwhelming side. And I think there is... Uh, yeah, Flame Atronach over there. Don't care about you. I'll just be on my way. Lovely. Well, I say be on my way. The entire point was, well, one, I'm being... I think I'm being chased by... Okay, uh, might need to take out just one of them. Yes. Right, that's you dead. Honestly, yeah, cold magic works really well against these lads. So, okay. Cross your fingers. Was that stone a good one or a bad one? And the answer is... You know what? That's... A, oh. This is kind of perfect, actually. Because, okay, I would not want damage magicka on one of my primary weapons. But 30 points of bonus magicka... On a piece of uh, armor, that's actually pretty good, yes. So, okay, right now the night gear, at the bare minimum, I'm getting uh, some benefit off that. So, okay, what I should really be prioritizing is uh, the armor parts where I've got nothing I want to wear on a daily basis. So, uh, yeah, I like the legs. Uh, let's go for the legs. So, there we go. From now on, I'm going to have uh, 30 extra points of magic car. Honestly, I'm going to call that a huge win. Behold the power of my non-sexual magical pants. So, okay, hopefully that'll help me... I just found the inn of an ill omen. 
Okay. That's, you know, I assume by design of... Okay, there was also a creepy person who just sort of appeared. Uh, but that's fine. He's not like a ghost or anything. That's just what NPCs do. They sometimes just appear, teleporting in and out of doors. Hello, you're just... Oh, you're just a random forester. That's fine. You don't even have a name, so you're not a problem at all. Can I have your arrows, by the way? No, I'm not good enough at stealing yet, dear o Flipping. Stop oh. right there, criminal scum. Nobody breaks the law on my watch. I'm confiscating your stolen goods. Now pay your fine, or it's off to jail. Okay, I think I just got caught by this guy, apparently. So... Right, um, I guess I'll pay off the bounty and... Are you about to teleport me to Bravel? Because if so, that would actually be quite useful. Thank you for the lift, buddy. I mean, back in Skyrim, you had to pay a good 40 gold to the taxi service to be taken to a new city. This guy will do it just if I pay off my bounty. That's only 25 gold. Yes, we're in Bravel. Good. So I've made it to Bravel. I'm going to be honest, I wasn't done with the incredibly suspicious inn. Right. As I was saying, oh my goodness, a highly suspicious inn. All right, looks pretty... Oh, I was about to say it looks pretty normal, but no, it doesn't. Okay, this guy may have an actual legitimate creepy murder basement. So, uh, upstairs, uh, gun ourselves. Right, same basic layout as... Uh, Many inns, locked up rooms, obviously. Hello, sir. Are you a creepy murder bastard by any chance? That's a horrible name for an inn, I know. But I just can't bring myself to change it. Besides, I like the sign. Okay, but I'm checking out your secret murder basement. Because I do not trust you to not have a secret... Oh, this is a bit big. And it's also very well locked. All right. Nothing too suspicious yet. Okay. Nothing suspicious. Is that blood? Okay, assuming that's not blood trickling down the walls, uh, I think this basement is in fact, yes, not a creepy murder basement at all. It appears to be uh, pretty unsuspicious, all things considered. I think he just lives in a basement. Hang on a minute. This guy, the guy who arrested me... The archery he's doing, I can just take the arrows. Those are now, hang on. Have you just got infinite arrows? Have I just found a, an infinite ammo producing machine? Because, just take the arrow. Yeah, there we go. Just step back so he fires. Lovely. Just, okay, check my arrow counter here. Make sure these aren't like fake or anything. 81. 83. Okay, I think I might have just located an infinite ammo producing machine, which is pretty exciting, actually. I mean, I swear he's... Yeah, he's actually coming back up to the target to get his arrows back. But if I've already got them, it doesn't matter. He keeps shooting anyway. And apparently this isn't a crime. Like, being interested in his pockets, that's a crime. But... Blatantly stealing his arrows uh, from a targeting range. That's that's not because crime in this game is uh, weird. And I'm going to be honest with you. Just up the road as a new day dawns, uh, I am appreciating the boots of Kinnereth because uh, I know this bear appears tiny, but I also know uh, that were he given the opportunity, he would slaughter me. So okay, yes, the boots meaning nature no longer considers me a problem. Uh, Oh, they are a lifesaver, potentially. That I appreciate. All right, couple of shrines on route. Zenithar and Talos, and yeah. Looks like we've pretty much made it, though. Oh, buddy. By any chance, has your daughter been kidnapped by goblins? And they're holding her in that there mine. What do you want? And to be honest, buddy, I kind of assumed you'd want something off me, given, you know, you are standing outside, uh, very nearby to an obvious mini-dungeon. Have you heard about Gwat? They say that Daedra came from Oblivion and burned the whole city to the ground. That's true, but I'm dealing with it, don't worry. Okay, so I'm guessing this is just part of this guy's routine. Comes outside, does some hunting, etc, etc. So, okay, this will be... 
Why do I not trust you as much? Hello, are you a bandit? Hi. No, you're not. I'm so glad I didn't shoot you. I'm sorry. That was really unfair of me. Maybe this town's local economy is just, you know, based around uh, hunting. Because that is two hunters just floating around outside on the road. So uh, then again, John, you did just pass, like, you know, a really, really big bear. And sure, you didn't need to deal with it, but other people would and... Oh, you've got... Well, not a moat. It's not really a moat if it's naturally occurring, but... Okay, this is cool. Yeah, you've built your city on, like, naturally occurring clusters of islands. Which is really good defense, actually. That's cool. Oh, yeah, it's all the way round. I thought there might be, yeah, one at edge that touched the land here. But no, uh, big stone walls... Uh, and water too. Okay, this is like maybe the most defensible city in the entire region. I love it. Right, in which case, just head in what must be, I suppose, uh, the front door, at least from this direction. And uh, yeah, it's not like a proper drawbridge, but a rope bridge, you could easily collapse this if you wanted to for some extra defense. So, oh, I like this place. It's properly defended. Maybe there's... Maybe there's a reason for that, actually. Hang about. I mean, I guess it is near the border, but the border is uh, with elsewhere. And unless I've missed a really big bit of Elder Scrolls lore, I'm not familiar with any major war or invasion between the Imperials and the Khajiit. So, okay. Not 100% sure why they were so desperate to make this the most defensible town in the entire bloody world. Alright, not the biggest town in the world, and possibly worthy of note. Aside from, yeah, the big cathedral, every other building in this entire place would appear to be made of warts. Now, many other towns, we have had ourselves, uh, yeah, big stone structures, uh, very impressive architecture. Okay, so, oh, and the castle, of course, that's made out of stone. So, uh, yes, this city might be either younger or not as wealthy as some of the others because uh, yeah this feels a bit more ramshackle than some of the other places we've run into still obviously uh, usual <sighs> guilds and just kind of uh broke my legs there don't worry about that a uh, warlock's luck oh is that like a proper maid shop with spells because uh, we haven't seen one of them for some time actually oh yeah this is a proper mage store i love it I've sighted the Forlorn Watchman again. Every time I see that ghost, it gives me the creeps. Okay, hang about. We've also got a ghost story. But then again, in this universe, ghost stories aren't really ghost stories because uh, ghosts just exist. It's a fact of life. Everybody knows there are ghosts. I don't know much about that ghost, but some say he died in a horrible shipwreck. I would stay away from him if I were you. Bad omen. Each night... He wanders the shore of Nibbon Bay. Then he stops and looks mournfully out to sea. If you're interested, you may want to see Gilgondorin at Silverhome on the Water. When it comes to local legends, he's the best source in town. Okay, we've got somebody who might be able to tell me about an important local ghost. Beyond that, yeah, we got ourselves a Mages Guild, which is... I mean, I'll admit, I like the fact you've got, like... Four stories. This is a very ramshackle building. I kind of like it. So, okay. Need to nip in there at some point. Don't need to bother with the Fighters Guild. Because the Fighters Guild, uh, yeah, they've only got missions uh, when they say they've got missions. So, occasionally, the locals in the guild will... Ooh, hang about. The locals in the guild uh, will tell you about good local stuff. Ah, oh, somebody else's necklace. Well, you shouldn't have stored it there, you stupid losers. Actually, you know what? Before we do any more exploring, right by the gate, we've got ourselves uh, the person we were looking for. Now, they said don't go into our house if it's locked, because that would effectively be breaking into a thief's house, which you're not supposed to do. But the door was open, so this is legit. And we do not rob her. I have a special request from the widow of a former fence in Leowin. As your new doyen, I'm asking you to help her. A street scavenger made off with a ring that the widow Adarji values highly. She is offering a reward. The guild frowns on freelance thieves. Are you willing to go to Leowin? 
find the ring and get it back to Adarji? I am 100% willing to travel to Leowin to get the ring and then, to be honest, I don't make any promises because sometimes if the thing's really good, I just decide to keep it. But I'm not going to say that bit out loud. Okay, but we're not going to Leowin right this second because this is a brand new town full of ghosts and mystery, apparently. And also, I need to find myself a, um, a blacksmith because my equipment is basically falling apart at this point. Okay, so the town seems to be, yeah, one a large island right here with pretty much everything. Then the castle island over there. And then one tiny small island on the edge of town, which has got nothing but, yeah, one inn and the blacksmith. But honestly, those are the two most important buildings in town, so it's kind of fine. Oh, and also on this tiny island, uh, oh dear. Oh no. No, 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 no. I mean... I know I said I like being next to the water, but if I wanted to be near the water, I'd go to Jadena Hall. This is... No. Alright, I'm so sorry, but I own a mansion in Anvil now. I have higher standards than this. Although, hang on. Blacksmith's closed and locked up at two in the afternoon. Okay, I'm guessing you've gone to do something. Wait an hour... You might be... Okay, this is a fairly important critical town service. And apparently, the blacksmith can't be bothered to operate during normal business hours. So, okay, you know what? No, I am not living in this town. You can't make me. Okay, just had to wait till the following morning and I'm increasingly suspicious. Was it because it was Sunday? That's entirely possible, you know. Hello, it's... Oh... You are the first blacksmith I've seen who is actually primarily an archer. Okay, I'm going to be honest. There is something a little bit suspicious here, which is... Uh, yeah, this guy lives above his shop, perfectly normal, but there's something I have uh, not seen before. Which is downstairs, I've just lured him up here to get him out the way. There's a closet. And it's tiny, but it's locked. So, okay, we're cracking that open, because this here, this might be where he keeps the bodies. Okay, or that's just where he stores his money. Okay, turns out, no corpses. Don't mind me, I definitely didn't just open your cupboards. Okay, the bar on this side of town, on the main island. Silver home on the water. There was someone called... Gorgon something. He's the guy who apparently knows about ghosts and other local legends, so... Uh, who are we talking about? Uh, hey, you, buddy, it's you as it turns out. Have you looked around? Breville is Tamriel's cloaca. Silverholm is the only decent place in town. Don't know why I stay here. Okay, so this place is not in general regarded as a nice city. Gotcha. The watchman looks like he may have been a sailor. No one knows where he came from or why he looks so sad. I don't like talking about the dead like they're some kind of tourist attraction, but that spirit has been making his ghostly journey for years now. We've learned to just accept that he's there. Every night, short as clockwork, he appears at Bon Watch Camp at 8 on the shore of Nibbon Bay. He's never harmed anyone, but most people give him a wide berth. You seem curious enough. So I'll be glad to pinpoint where he appears on your map. Did this guy just change his voice? Like, back and forth, twice? Because I think he did. Varan Vamuri can be really charming. Of course, there's something a bit odd about him as well. Okay, the moment anybody says anything about, hey, someone's a bit odd, then that means we break into their house and we check out the basement. For there is always something dodgy going on in the basement. They say that when you murder someone, the Dark Brotherhood comes to you in your sleep. It's how they recruit new members. Yes, indeed. This is not the first time I'd heard that either. Few people have occasionally just mentioned it in the background. So, all right. I do know where the Dark Brotherhood live uh, over in Chadena Hall. So, uh, this is something I need to keep an eye out for. All right, if I find someone who I think, you know, deserves being murdered, then all I need to do is just bump them off, and then 
I can begin the Dark Brotherhood missions. And that's got to be good. Because they've got to be about, you know, sneak attacks, etc. And that's kind of what I'm into. So, okay. I need to start keeping one eye open for somebody who needs to be murdered. Here we go. Speaking of people who may or may not need murdering. Cathedral, right here. Varen. Alright. So we were just told there's something odd about this guy. Now, they might just mean he's a little bit eccentric, or they might mean he's got a creepy murder basement. And I feel like it is my responsibility to figure out which. Alright, step one, check for no basement. Which makes sense, actually. None of the houses in this town should have basements, because they're right by a lake. So the basements would flood, obviously. So, okay. That means, oh my goodness, no creepy murder basements would imply no one in this town can be a bad person. Oh, but on the other hand, okay. Um, so you know how you're not supposed to break into the um, houses of uh, other Thieves Guild members? I swear it keeps happening entirely by accident. It is not my fault, okay? If there was a list of members that could be circulated, then this would happen less often. Okay, for the time being, let's stay focused on, yes, the one local mission that's come up so far, which is apparently there is a mysterious ghost, and uh, yeah, the implication was uh, people know ghosts exist, but generally they don't, like, hang around. But this one's been floating around doing the same thing for years, meaning some people suspect, yeah, unfinished business, etc, etc. So, uh, Okay, go around to the camp, probably clear it out, because camp normally means bandits, and then wait until 8pm. Okay, um, I was just on the, on the road, and what the? I appear to be being chased down by a cloud of dust, and I'm not 100%. What the cock is happening right now? Is this a will-o'-wisp? It might be. Okay, well, I can sort of damage it. Okay, hang on. If it's a ghosts. People were saying to me that, like, electricity works well against, like, stuff like that. So if I zap you, you have got more health than I was reasonably expecting from a sort of weird floaty creature. Okay, there's, there's weird floaty creatures, which may or may not be will-o'-wisps, but they seem to be giving up pursuing me pretty fast. So honestly, okay, don't worry about this, just help myself to the well, and keep on keeping on, it's all a-okay. Oh, and apparently my boots don't just work on animals, they work on sexy, sexy spriggans as well. Oh yeah, this bit of the world is so much easier, now that I've got this beautiful, sexy pair of boots on. Because otherwise it would just be spriggans coming out of my ears, this is very very good news also. Hello, would you like to follow me? Because uh, if you would, I have got somebody I would love you to meet, by the way. So you just uh, come in this direction because uh, Spriggans won't attack me, but I bet they'll attack you. So okay, Spriggan, we've got, oh yeah, oh flipping yeah, summon bear and now bear attacks. Oh, now this, this'll do. Oh, and this isn't just a camp. It's a camp right next to an Ilayid ruin. So, okay, watch out for a whole bunch more raiders. They seem to enjoy ransacking Ilayid ruins on occasion. Just check for any sign of movements. Okay, not seeing raiders yet at least. No, nope, nothing. All peaceful, so okay bow away, and, okay, what enemies is that crab, isn't it? Okay, I'm so sorry, but you need to die before I can sleep. I have defeated the crabs, so okay, four hours should bring me to just before 8pm, and apparently, this ghost likes making an appearance, so, alright buddy, here we go. Can we speak to him? The watchman ignores you. Okay. He might not be able 
to see me. By any chance, are you going to direct me to go into the Ilayid Ruin? Because if I had to guess, that seems possible. Also, was he just looking at that crab? Okay, so he can't see me, but he can see the crab. Keep on keeping on. He's leading me somewhere. But where and why? Okay, so far we're just going round the corner. We're heading south along the lake. So we're actually going towards Leowin. But surely we're not going so far we're going all the way down there, right? I was once the man known as Grantham Blinkley. Look for me in the mouth of the panther. Please, release me. Okay, hang about. The panther. And he's looking... He's looking straight over in this direction. Okay, just make sure... We've got him lined up, right? Yeah. He's standing here. We're nearby to... Yeah, a... A fort. Fort to irony, apparently. But, okay. I mean, we've got to... Wait, hang on. Is he just... Did you just change the direction? Okay. This would appear to be... Okay, this is... He is repeatedly changing direction. Okay, I don't think it's direction. Because, well, actually. Okay, I'm going to be honest. There is an incredibly ominous thing right here. So we're just going to go and check that out first. But he was standing really nearby to an old sunken fort. But this looks pretty ominous and creepy too. So, okay. Hang about, what's... What's happened here precisely? Was this... Oh. Bloody alchemist. Every bloody time. Ah, my journal has a good idea. We could go and ask the guy in town about the panther. Sure, I know what that is. Any sailor worth his weight in sea salt could tell you. The mouth of the panther is what they call the delta where the panther river meets Nibbin Bay. It got its name from the pointed rocks that jut out of the water there. Sort of looked like teeth. Mouth, panther, teeth, get it? Ships are always careful to stay away from it. Especially when it's foggy on the bay. The rocks would tear right through a ship's hull like parchment. Okay, so this guy was shipwrecked. His body was never buried or whatever. All we need to do is, presumably, go there and... Uh, Either arrange some form of burial or maybe get a distinctive necklace, give it to his wife, etc, etc. Although by the looksy of it, I could 100% have just, uh, yes, followed where he was looking. Because he was standing about here, looking over the water. So okay, I could have just figured it out for myself, but it's nice to know what I'm going into. So okay, straight across the water and uh, I see him. Jagged rocks. So... Uh, Run into them, you're in trouble. Though, to be honest, if you're in a position to run into them, you're already so near to the shore, I suspect you're pretty boned anyway. But, oh, random crab. Don't mind me. Just need to get you out the way. Now, by any chance, is this your boat? Because I suspect it might be. So, all right. Found ourselves a boat cargo ship named the... MMA could be named after somebody who might know this individual. Also, it looks like it sank a long time ago. It really doesn't, you know. The key thing to keep an eye on being it's not underwater. Like, okay, we absolutely do in the real world have boats that were underwater and since have emerged. But the wood would not be in this good condition. Ah, and apparently the only way in it is right here. The broken a hull, so... I mean, this is not a big boat. Okay, we do, however, have uh, some issues with... Um, yes, ghosts. That's, that's fine. Just take care of uh, you. And okay, the arrows aren't doing much. You know what? John. Here we go. 25 points of flame damage. And... Oh, yeah. That is more like it. Here and... Ran out of magicka. 
really need more magicka, despite the fact I've invested heavily in all of this, and... Uh, okay, infested. How infested can it be? It's one boat! Alright, keep investigating. Look for anything. Ship's log, anything of that nature would do the job. And here we go. Ship's log. Brilliant. So at some point there was a mutiny. The ship was diverted. Two men tried to stop it. They were imprisoned below decks, seeking shelter from a bad storm. The ship pulled into what they thought was a safe cove. And it was not. Okay, gotcha. Alright, no other notes here. So, uh, down to the mid-deck. This boat was not big enough to have uh, this many cocky decks. Okay? It was not. I do not accept this. Still, one nice thing. All these ghosts are apparently common souls. So, okay. Free batteries. I love it. And down at the bottom, uh, oh dear. Why do we get the feeling this is going to be bad? Okay, John. Bring it all together here. Bring it all together. Summon a flame Atronach. The flames might be able to do something. Okay, that's... I mean, it seems to have... Seems to have hit him. I don't know the fact he's very slow. That... That concerns me, actually. I'd, I'd, I'd be happier if he was faster. So, okay, just... I'm also kind of trapped by my own flame Atronach right now. Please push forward. Right. Keep, keep going for him. Keep doing it. Go for it. Give it a go. Yes, lovely. Well done. And you're now... Okay, just... Honestly, I think we might be able to just out... Oh, blimey. He's just... Wait, what's he doing? Oh, he he's vampiring me. No. It's fine. John, just take a moment to drink some potions. And now we can out-whack him. Brilliant. This is Gable the Traitor. What a bastard. So, okay. Now need to find something. And by any chance, are you... Yep. Grantham. Oh. You were shackled. And thus you remain shackled in death to this place. I knew one day someone with unyielding virtue would heed my words and speed my release. You risked much to perform such a selfless act. This noble deed will not go unrewarded. Look upon the ground in this prison. There you will find a map to my gratitude. I thank you with all my heart. Farewell. Oh, flip me, is this a treasure map? Oh, this could be a treasure map. So, okay. Looks like we go straight to east through an S-bend in the river. Here we go. Looking at the map, that will put the treasure pretty much here. So, okay, we are dealing with a buried and or sunken treasure right now, and I love it. Okay, we've got our highwayman. You guys are my best friends. So, all we do, we just stand here and uh, let him hit me. No trouble. And after ten or so minutes, it's time for one little heal right there. This guy can boost my light armor. He can boost my block. You know what? Highwaymen, they are just the best things. And to think there are some idiots who pay for block trainers when this guy will just stand on this bridge and do it for free. I really need to remember to take off the Ring of Namira because that is genuinely the limiting factor. If it wasn't for that, I could keep this going forever. Here we go. This should be the body of water here. So, naturally, do not forget buoyancy. Just a pop that. There we go. Now I can breathe. Now it should be. Somewhere around here. That's a clam. Which is fine, I guess. But not really what I was after. It has just occurred to me that I didn't pick up the map. Which could be a problem because the game is saying, hey, I should take the map. I'm increasingly worried that the treasure hasn't spawned, though. Okay. While I'm passing by here, hang about. What's... What's the massive glowy thing on top of the... Oh, it's just one of you bastards. No, 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 no trouble. No trouble at all. 
yes, I do really need to get into the habit of uh, picking up important documents. Because uh, the game sometimes does insist upon it, yes. And there she is. Okay, this better be... Oh, blimey. Oh, this was worth it. This was hugely worth it. I mean, the gold alone is generous, and that, that's not a bad Warhammer. At least in terms of, you know, for straight up selling. It has just come to my attention, by the way. I think I may have been running around like this, because these were not equipped when I came back to town. And I don't know when I took them off or why. Okay, sold all that, and now I own a mansion, already fully furnished in Anvil, I don't need to be saving up for property anymore, so I think I know precisely where I want all this money to go. We're back in the gorgeous Chaiten Hall, because I remember a very particular item at their general goods store. And there it is. A cowl. Like, I feel like I deserve a cowl. That feels like assassiny and sneaky to me. And this will boost my marksman, fortify my alchemy. Like, this is, this is made for me. Okay, it's gonna make blades worse, but when's the last bloody time I used a blade? I'm having it. I flipping want this right now. Though, hang on, John. Maybe, maybe we can barter a bit. Because, uh, yeah, she loves me. She's not very good at being a merchant. And these days, I am. So give that a go. I can't afford. Oh, not quite. Not quite. How about that? Under six grand. I love it. Okay. I like the fact I'm wearing a cowl. I'm not 100% convinced it goes with this thing. No. But then again. If we are going all in on an archery. And fortifying... All right, the aprons flipping back. Brilliant. I mean, put all this together. Agility up to 81. Intelligence, 84. Magicka, almost at 200. Marksman, yes. Artificially boosted to 54. So that's almost 50 in real terms. So we're almost up to, yes, my ability to zoom. Oh, lovely. Absolutely love it. And, 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 and. Not going to deny... I came back here for another reason as well, which is, I was saying earlier, I need to find somebody to murder. And in many ways, Chaden Hall feels like the right place to murder someone. After all, it is literally where the Dark Brotherhood live. And, uh, okay, who could possibly deserve to be murdered more than the former guard captain of this town? The lad who arranged various murders, he profiteered of shaking people down. People died on his watch. Also, everybody's glistening because now I have a, uh, yes, built-in detect life within 40 feet. That's pretty cool too. So, yes. What if I snuck into the prison? That, I think, could work nicely. The problem's going to be, how do we do it? All right. Into the dungeon. How do you do? I see you here. And there's, I assume... Okay, so two jailers. Okay, but no. No, no, no. I need you to be not looking in this direction. At the exact moment when the shift change occurs, there might be an opportunity to get this door open. Alright, just... I mean, or... A meal time. Okay, easy locked door. Not difficult. Then again, John, you might be overthinking this. You just said two jailers. That means this one is currently asleep. And there it is. The key. All right. So now we don't even need to do lock picking. The key's already mine. I just need something to distract this guy. Or otherwise, well, actually, hang on. I don't know why he didn't just turn around, but he didn't. Okay. For some reason that time, he didn't turn around. Oh. Ha, 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 Oh, Ulrich. Come to gloat, eh? Well, you'll get no apologies from me. I'm gonna be honest, buddy. 
You're gonna flip it. wish I was here to gloat. Okay, I've never assassinated anyone before, so just out of interest, can I just shoot him through the bars? No, bars don't work like that. Though I'm gonna be honest, he did not even blink. That is, that's impressive. Okay, stay hidden. Are you going to attempt to make a run Not for good, it? Eh? Well, you'll get no apologies from me. Okay. Nothing. Well, in which case, this is going to be uh, the better sneak attack bonus. And... What's going on? No. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's... Okay, now he's doing magic and... Wait, what's he doing? Stop right there, criminal scum. No, no, no. I'm not the criminal scum. It was him. He's the criminal... Let's try this again. Okay, the guard is literally walking back out of the barracks from previously arresting me. How are you doing, by the way? Okay, you're... You're now not at full health. Okay. But you've got a surprisingly large amount of health. To be honest, though he hasn't... He hasn't relocked the door. Okay, so... I need a stronger weapon. I need something as strong as it. John. The Honor Blade of Coral was right there. Okay, make myself at 13 points stronger. Thanks to this delicious, delicious potion. Take off the cow you just bought. Because it's literally draining your blade skill. Oh, and just out of interest. By any flipping chance. If I paralyze him. Can he not call the guard for help? Okay. Let's just, uh, poison that. And then... Go! Now, go, 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 go. He's still in the room. He's still in the room. He's still in the room. Yes! We got him! We flipping got him! 100% worth it. I'll pay you the fine. Honestly, 40 gold for breaking into a prison and then murdering one of the inmates? That is conking worth it. Right, having paid my 40 gold, uh, just nip back inside. Morning, Steve. Nice to see you again. And just to confirm, uh, he's dead. He is really, really dead. And also, I'll be taking a quarter of my bounty back of his corpse. Brilliant. So, um, as I understand it, the Dark Brotherhood are now on the way. They might be, uh... Wanting to see me. And to be honest, I want to see them too. Like, I don't even feel bad about this. That guy was a bastard. Alright. And you know what? There was... What's her face? The Dark Elf, whose friend died after being killed by the soldier. She actually wanted to kill him. She is going to be delighted. So I'd say that's enough for now, but... Coming up next time. Knock, knock, lads. I'm ready to join. Hopefully, you are looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got... A... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.